Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about strings in C++. So to use strings, you need to first have your include string up on top. So let's have our typical IL stream here. And then we're going to include string. So this will allow us to use the variable string inside our function. And then we're going to have an int main. Our main function return zero as usual. So here I'm gonna create a string, I'm gonna say std. So that's using the standard library. And then from there we're calling the string type. And then we call this my first name, for example, and then call that Kevin. Okay, so just gonna run the simple one. You can see, verify that our string has been created successfully. So if I go to debug, you can see inside here, my first name, let me stretch it out. Inside my data uh, plus, you can see that here is a string Kevin. So if I hover over my first name, you can see it's a type string. So the string has been created successfully, okay? So there's a couple of things you could do with strings and we'll go over that. Um, you could have, for example, uh, you can have int, if you want to find the length of it, you could do length equals my first name dot length. And this will give you the length of your string in int. You can also extract certain characters of your string. You could do a char letter, for example, and then you could say my first name, and then maybe you want the first letter. So you could do zero. So let's take a look at what that will be like, if I go to debug again, you can see length is five, because there's five letters in Kevin. And then the first letter is K, which is what we expect, okay? So that's all good. And then there's a couple of other functions you could do. So let's create a new string called um, my last name, call that wood. So you could add strings together by using a plus sign. So we could have a std string, my full name. You could do my first name plus my last name. Okay, so that should give you uh, the full name combined together. And if you wanted a space, you could add like a space here. Okay, so I'm gonna go debug and run it you'll see that my full name here inside is Kevin Wood, and it's 10 characters long. Okay, so that's adding strings, and you can also do things like substrings. So for example, I could do std uh, string, I'm gonna call this substring, and then we could say my full name, oops, my full name, and maybe I want to get a substring. So calling the substring command. And inside, you're gonna actually put, the first one is your start index zero, and then the second one is your end index. So just telling like how many characters you get. So if I do from zero to five, that'll get the first five characters, which will be my first name. So we can actually verify that if we go to debug again. So if we see our substring here, if we open it up, you can see that it gets Kevin. So that's like I just said, the five first, first five characters. Okay, so that's the substring command. And then also we could do other things like find. So what find will do is um, tell you where the index of a certain word is. So I could do unsigned int my index equals my full name dot find. And inside find, let's say I want to find where wood shows up. Also, you need to make sure you save your program before you run it so it can update. But once you do that, you can see my index is six because if you go to my full name, you can see K-E-V-I-N space W, W is going to be the sixth element. And that's where I found wood. So that's what the find function does. And you might also do other things too, like maybe 
a lot of times if you get an input from a user and then you want to use a string as an integer, you could do the stoy command. So let's say we have a std string, uh, call this my number string and set that equal to three, for example, then I could convert that to my number int equals stoy and pass in my number string. So what this will do is just convert my three to an integer because three here is a string and you can't quite use it directly. So if I save it and run it again, okay, if I run my program, you can see that my num int is an int and then my num string is a string. And inside you can see the, the string is also a three in quotes. So when it's in quotes, you know that it's a string. So that's how you would differentiate between the two. Okay, and then for a full list of commands, you could look at the documentation for SCD string, or if you type out like my first name dot, you could see all the function calls inside of here that you can use, okay? So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.